Wormholes, particle physics, extra dimensions. Are the wonders of so-called reality really what they appear to be? Or do we exist in an elaborate hologram? Is our universe the result of random activity or the result of intelligent design? If a creator was involved, can we discover him through our perception of divine order? This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Is the term multiverse evil or demonic in nature? What does multiverse actually mean? mean. Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today and a few other uh, a few other interesting things. Why is this show called Into the Multiverse? Uh, I'd like to welcome my beautiful, mm -hmm. wonderful wife, Christina Peck. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Honey? I am doing great. I'm actually glad that we're talking about this. Uh, this is a topic we actually covered in our very first episode. Yes. The very, the very, the very first one. Now this of course, isn't a rehash of that. There's, there's a lot of new information we're going to be talking about here. Um, but before we get to all that, this might be somebody's first time watching. And, uh, if so, welcome, where can people find us online? How do they subscribe? All that good stuff. Oh, okay, well, you can subscribe right here on YouTube. There's a little subscribe button on the bottom of your screen. Uh, it's youtube.com forward slash into the multiverse. And also, uh, I think that's it. That's, I think that I is think it. That's it. I think that's it. That, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so make sure you do subscribe. And YouTube also has this new thing now where, and I guess it's only for some people, but you might have to do an additional click on a little bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, it might make you do that, and it might not. We've heard different things from different people. So uh, if you do see a little bell, make sure you click that so you can get notifications uh, whenever new episodes are posted. They will they will show up on your phone or computer, wherever. Uh, but we do post these every Thursday at about 9 AM. So uh, you'll be able to get it there no matter what. I forgot to mention Roku. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Roku, under the Skywatch TV channel. That was the other one. That was the other one. And you know what? We're it's actually a on, uh, we're, we, either we are now or will be <laughs> soon on Apple TV. And by the time this airs, we might be on there. Yeah. But uh, yes, we'll be on Apple TV. And we also have an upcoming app for Skywatch TV that will be, yes. uh, you'll be able to download that for your smartphone. Yeah, so lots of cool stuff. And for all that information, you can just go to skywatchtv.com. Okay, so enough of plugging all the links and everything. So mm -hmm. sometimes uh, we uh, we encourage people to comment and ask us questions. And um, one question that we've got sometimes uh, is what do we mean when we say multiverse? You know, where, mm -hmm. where does this title come from into the multiverse? Because doesn't isn't that like a uh, demonic idea or a satanic idea that no. kind of tries to get away from God. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be, exactly. It's it's kind of one of those yes and no type questions. Not mm -hmm. in the way that we use it and not in the way that most scientists use it. Most scientists, yeah. Um, so we can start we can start with that with talking about where 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 typically people think uh, or understand this, this term to come from. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a, di a lot of different ideas about how a multiverse would work or what a multiverse is. Multiverse basically means many universes or, yeah. uh, or, or mm -hmm. at least there's more to our knowable and seeable. Right. One part of a bigger a piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. And That's those other, those other is. pieces we, we can't really see or mm -hmm. interact with. Um, the, and if there are ways to do it, we don't know about them yet. But usually when people see the word multiverse, they think of what's called the many worlds interpretation. Mm -hmm. And it was developed somewhere, I think, in the 50s, in the 1950s or so. Um, maybe maybe even earlier. Uh, I'm kind of going off memory here. But I wrote about it in my book, Quantum Creation. That's the theory that a lot of people, uh, including myself, including you, uh, do take issue with. Yes. The many worlds interpretation. Because this, this was um, developed, I think, may, maybe not knowingly by the person who developed it, but uh, maybe by a uh, principality or a power mm -hmm. that was pulling the str uh, strings from the background. But this, this term, many worlds interpretation, it is a scientific theory to try to describe um, how reality could work without God, basically. Yeah, which we obviously know it cannot. Right. <laughs> it cannot at all. Right. But I look at it, this is how I see it. They're, they're even in this reality here, mm -hmm. you know, our dimension, our world, mm -hmm. our universe, uh, there's one of me, mm -hmm. but there are many other people out there who could look like me. Well, sure. You know, and, and we were discussing before the show, mm -hmm. there are 
so many possibilities yeah. that uh, of how somebody can look. Yeah, and, and even at its worst, that's what multiple uh, worlds interpretation is. Because the, the basic idea is that we have our universe and then there are many other universes sort of like stacked on top mm -hmm. uh, in, in higher dimensional space. So it's not really like a, a, a stacking like up and down. It's something that we can't really get our heads around. But uh, And that in, in these other parallel universes, they're just like ours, except there might be one little difference. Right. Um, that part of it, I don't really have too much of a, a problem with. I, I, I could see how we could be one slice of a larger reality that makes up heaven or something like that. Uh, but where where I think the theory deviates from just common sense and logic is where it says that all these other universes, they would have to be inhabited by other versions of us. Right. And that somehow this also means that we share morality. We share a, a soul or in some ways even consciousness. No, yeah. See, I see. I, I am me here, my own soul. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. And, and scientifically speaking, if, if the, even if the many worlds interpretation is true and we're not saying it is, that is not the version of multiverse that, that we subscribe no, to. No. But even if that were true, the only thing it would mean is that there's more out there that God created that we don't know about. But mm -hmm. uh, these parallel versions of ourselves, that it would only be uh, physical, physical it, it, biology. It, it, yeah. Biology. Not we're spiritual. not, we're not sharing a soul. There's no, there's nothing in that theory to suggest that we share anything, um, ethereal or, or anything spiritual with them. It would be, it would just be like any other person that you would run into in the world. Mm -hmm. When you think about what the human body actually is, it's just an arrangement of atoms. Yep. You know, that's all it is. It's a certain arrangement of, of atoms. And, uh, and even that, even the atoms are a certain arrangement of other, uh, smaller particles. So it would make sense that you can only have so many arrangements. So, uh, you know, eventually the, those arrangements are going to repeat themselves. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that the that would have anything to do with the soul. No. You know, as far as we know, the, the, the soul, the spirit, all that stuff, it's not made out of particles the way that our body is. Right. Um, so... There's nothing, there's nothing to suggest that, that because, and the reason that I even bring that up is because we get questions like this too. If there, if there is a multiverse and there is another version of myself, does that mean that there's a, a universe where I haven't accepted Jesus? Right. And does that version of myself go to hell? I, it, well, and that's, that's, that's part of the reason why I don't buy that's, into yeah. it be, because of that. Same here. Yeah. Because of that exact question. But again, even if. Even if there are all these other universes, who who cares? You right. know, it has nothing to do. It, it would be the same as, uh, you know, any other random stranger on earth if they're going to heaven and hell. Of course, we should care because we want to evangelize and we want to we want to get them saved and everything. But right, so, but if it's so, another some, dimension, another universe of yeah. me. I, some hypothetical person, like, person in a possible parallel universe that really has nothing to do with us. Yeah. Uh, so I put that in the realm of, well, we just let God worry about that. It's good <laughs> to ask questions, but we just don't have enough information to really answer it. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, it shouldn't uh, affect our faith. Right. And that's a big deal that's too. That's exactly right. So, uh, so we get this, this question, you know, is, is why are you called into the multiverse? Isn't that, isn't that a, a satanic idea that takes God out of creation? Well, one version of it can, because, mm -hmm. uh, there, even within that one version called again, many worlds interpretation, there's other, um, there's other parts that branch off. Mm -hmm. Like for one, one, there's, um, and I've heard physicists talk talk about this. There's one version of the many worlds interpretation that says the way the universe began is uh, you have the Big Bang and, and you have certain universes that are spread out this way in time, forward in time, and then others that are backward in time. And then that's why you can never really go to the beginning point of creation because then you're going into this other set that we can't that has different physics mm -hmm. and it, it's all that kind of stuff. That's I, garbage. I, th I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> there's nothing to suggest That's any of that. Science. Yeah. There, there's nothing, there's nothing to suggest that any of that it, it's, it's like fun to talk about and speculate and whatever, but there's really nothing to, to hang any hats on that. Right. Um, yep. So there are versions like that, that do try to take God out mm -hmm. of the equation completely. Now, what we mean when we say multiverse, we're actually talking about um, multiple universes, multiple three-dimensional spaces. Yes, that's, uh, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, that that could 
possibly make up a larger construct. And that larger construct would be uh, everything on the, the, the spirit realm, heaven, um, uh, everything that God created apart from earth. So we kind of look at it that way. Um, and actually one analogy that I've used uh, before is you could think of a ream of paper, uh, like a stack of paper. It's made of uh, different slices of paper and every piece of paper, even though they're the same, you know, a piece of paper is a piece of paper. They're still distinct from one another yet. They don't have to, uh, they don't have to really have anything to do with one another. They don't have to interact in any way with one another to exist and to still be a part of the same construct. But if you think of those uh, pieces of paper as just two dimensional planes stacked up, uh, then it creates a three-dimensional object, a, a, a stack of paper, like a, a box or a rectangle mm, a or cube. you know, some, a cube, something like that. Like that. Uh, so I kind of see our universe in the same way. And I actually think there's, there's places in the Bible that talk about that because we have certain entities like angels, mm-hmm. uh, definitely the cherubim, that have higher dimensional uh, qualities to them. Ezekiel described it. Um, We did a whole show on that. If people are interested in that, Ezekiel's Mm -hmm. vision, they can look that up. We even have entities that are, that consist of higher dimensions than us. And then when they come into our dimension, that that's why with with Ezekiel, they look like they're melded together and stuff within this space. It looks like they're taking up the same space, but really in hyperspace, which just means space that's above our own, that consists of more than the three dimensions we have. In that space, they're they're separate, which yep. again is why in Revelation, John saw them all separated. So uh, when we talk about multiverse, that's that's more of the idea. We we don't adhere to much of what the many worlds interpretation says. No, we've done we've brought it up in certain episodes, but mm-hmm. we always come you know go away with the same answer. Oh, I'm pretty sure that this is the only one and yeah. this is the only one of me. But of course, if there is anything out there mm-hmm. like that and God's got it. So he's in control. Yeah. It's there for a reason or it's just like probably a part of ours in some way just mm-hmm. Yeah. And and that's the thing too. Like they, they wouldn't have anything to do with us. And if, if we, if they were supposed to, or if we had any responsibility to know that, uh, we would, God would have given us some clue in the Bible. There would have been some, something that we could point to and say, well, this at least could mean that Mm -hmm. so far I haven't found any evidence. I don't don't see any (laughs) of it. And that's why I just say that, well, it's, we're we're probably the only ones. So when we talk about multiverse, we're really more talking Mm -hmm. about extra or higher dimensions rather than parallel dimensions. And there's, there's a difference. A lot of, you know, this interpretation of the multiverse, you can take anything and make it mean anything. Yeah. And, and a lot of it, it's God's to begin with. Mm -hmm. So it's not originally evil. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, People take shapes, people take numbers. Uh, Numbers are a big thing in the Bible. Uh, Right. People can take a five pointed star and say, oh, that's evil. Yeah. When also five is the number of grace. Yeah. And you know, I'm not saying that it's not used for Mm -hmm. the occult or it's not used for different things. Um, Not, not originally. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the symbolism with a lot of these things. How, how do we determine the symbolism between something like a word or a number or an image? Uh, an animal. And, and, an animal. Yeah, an animal. And, and is it really a one size fits all kind of deal or is it maybe a little more complicated than that? Um, we are going to talk about all that and more right after this. Imagine a supernatural thriller that brings the cutting edge Christian research of Tom Horn, Steve Quayle, and L.A. Marzulli alive through the skill of a master storyteller. Set in Victorian England during Jack the Ripper's reign of terror, the new novel by Sharon K. Gilbert asks the question, what if the Ripper wasn't caught because he wasn't human? And what if his gruesome work was part of a ritual to bring forth the Antichrist? Skywatch TV is proud to offer Blood Lies, book one of the Red Wing Saga, the first in a new series by Skywatch TV's Sharon K. Gilbert. Blood Lies tells the story of a valiant group of men and women who stand against the ancient enemy of mankind with nothing but a prayer and the power of the Holy Spirit to protect them. Plus, when you order Blood Lies from Skywatch TV, we'll also include two additional books to prepare you for the real spiritual battles that all Christians face. Lucifer's War by Linda Rios Brook, a historical examination of Satan and the demon gods who rebelled against their creator. 
and People, Pigs, and Principalities, True Accounts of Angels and Demons by Deliverance Minister Don Dickerman. Over a $30 value, absolutely free when you purchase Blood Lies for only $19.95 in this special offer exclusively at the Skywatch TV store. Blood Lies, a thrilling account of spiritual warfare based on biblical truth featuring characters you'll grow to love. The Blood Lies special offer available now at the Skywatch TV store. Welcome back to Into the Multiverse. If you have not had a chance to subscribe, please do so. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Make sure to click that little bell if it if it wants you to. Uh, <laughs> YouTube's kind of becoming a little different for everybody these it's becoming days. Becoming more demanding. Uh, yeah, it's um, <laughs> and and we've even toyed around with the, the different uh, ideas of different. Um, uh, places to post our videos. Not that we would totally remove ourselves from YouTube. We'll no. always, you know, as, as long as long as YouTube makes it available to do so without mm -hmm. limiting our our our, um, our messaging and stuff, then we'll keep doing it. But uh, but yeah, make sure you do subscribe. It's important to do so. So uh, you brought up a really good point before the episode, and and this I I do think speaks to the bigger issue of this question. Well, isn't isn't the word multiverse demonic? Mm. And like what we said before, it depends on how you use it mm -hmm. and who's using it, the context. And, and really that goes with a lot of things. Uh, just mm. recently, um, actually at the time of this recording, this was just two days ago, uh, I was invited by uh, uh, Mario Brisson. He's, he's yes. the vigilant Christian yes. guy. On, um, he, He's got uh, a bunch of videos and a lot of it has to do with stuff with like Illuminati and, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but he, he also does a lot, a lot more than that. But he invited me on to talk about uh, Genesis 6 and the Nephilim giants um, and... CERN so and all yeah, that fun stuff. a lot, a lot of different stuff. It was a really good video. If people want to check that out, they should. But uh, in in the interview, there are a lot of times just when I'm talking or explaining things, I use my hands a lot. Sometimes I'm animated. Sometimes I'm going like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, I just a lot of people talk I like do that. that too. And I'm like, it's precisely. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. And, and so of course there were a couple comments, and not not many. I mean, there was like one or two comments of people wondering why I was doing that and saying like, doesn't he know that that's an Illuminati hand signal for 666. And, you, you know, I, I saw Josh Peck throwing up 666. <sighs> and, like, come on. Uh, Goodness now, I, I don't and I don't even bring that up for those people, because people who are just convinced that that's how the world works, you know, in every situation, I don't it's think not that every situation. I, no. I know, but there are people that think that it yeah. works that way. And I don't I don't even know if their minds can be changed without direct revelation from God. But it's it's a more complicated issue now. Can this mean 666? Sometimes. Sure. I, I mean, it depends on the person using it, why they're using it, for what reason, the context, you know, all that stuff. Growing up, this meant okay. Yeah, A okay. Um, <laughs> it, 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 different it, things can have different meanings. Right. Um, yeah. I, I was just using it to make a point, you know. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of things are like that, like the word multiverse. Now, mm -hmm. can it mean something satanic, like so, sure. some kind of anti... Uh, Anything can be used for evil. Yeah, like anti-God belief where you're trying to take God out of creation. Yeah, it can be used for that. That's not how we use it. And mm -hmm. anybody who's seen even one episode of it uh, should know or that. people who know us personally. Or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> even that. And which, by the way, is really easy to do uh, because we oh, stay yeah. open to the, we stay open to our public. We, lo we love all you guys. And... Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so aside from all that, it, it, there are uh, more complicated issues. Uh, we recently did an episode of Skywatch TV with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bob McGinnis. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome guy. I, 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 he's got so much good information about what's happening in Washington and how to process, especially everything with Trump now. And yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he's he, he's great. He's he's written a couple books. Um, Future War, which is at the in the Skywatch TV store, and um, he has other other things. But uh, he's just a really good source of information, and he's a Christian, of course. So mm -hmm. he he interprets everything through that worldview. Uh, well, because he's Lieutenant Colonel Bob McGinnis, you know, he has. Um, in the background during the interview, he had a, a star, right. you know, like oh, just, just a normal, right, yeah. like what you would see on like an American flag or something like just a normal, like, five, yes, five pointed, pointed star. Um, it wasn't upside down like a pentagram would be, but even, even th that's even hardly worth mentioning. The main point is people, some people were commenting and not listening to anything he said, 
not listening to a word of it, but, just but saw they, the they, star they saw the and, star in the screen and cap with it. and then wanted mm -hmm. to say that, that 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 means, above all else, that means that we shouldn't listen to him, we shouldn't have him on the show, he's, he's uh, an, an agent for this or that, oh, or you know, just course, all, yeah. all these things. Yeah. And um, usually, and I did, of course, we, we delete those comments because it's ridiculous. It's and we don't, keeping we, we don't want people to be led astray by stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that comes up quite frequently. Mm -hmm. You know, we, uh, we had Tim Alberino on and we did a whole episode just on, on this idea, the, yep. the reductionist <laughs> worldview. Uh, so these things, like the word multiverse, can't be reduced to just a single, it's either good or it's bad. Just the world doesn't work that way. No, it's there's... it's a word that could mean different things to different people who yes. use it. Uh, now, yes, there's one uh, definition of that word that is pretty bad. There's one use of that star that is pretty bad. There's exactly. another one where it's like, okay, well, there's a lot of things that we use. The star that represents mm -hmm. good. Five is, like I said, the number of grace. If you cut an apple in half, mm -hmm. there's a five-pointed star. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and a lot of people say, well, it's evil because uh, Genesis. It doesn't say apple <laughs> anywhere in the text. Right. It says forbidden fruit. Yeah. It says fruit, which means it, it, it's a lot of things. People have... Um, use the apple. I yeah. don't know why, where it first came from. I, I don't know the history behind it, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it wasn't an apple. Yeah. Uh, there, there's nothing <laughs> to suggest that it was, it was either, it could have been a quince like a David Flynn believed and uh -huh. he actually laid out evidence why he believed that, or it could have been a, it could have been a fig because the only, the only, uh, the fruit, curse of the fig tree. Well, that, also... and the, the only, the only fruit that we hear about anywhere in near that verse is the fig because they covered themselves with fig leaves. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean that that the forbidden fruit was a fig. I feel like if it was a forbidden fruit, that we would still not be able to get to it or get right. to, yeah, to it. Yeah, it could have been something totally different that we don't even know anything about. Yeah. But, but yeah, My I personal mean, belief is it's something that we don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it probably is. But but you're right, and you bring up a good point that even if it was an apple, even, mm -hmm. if, even if it was, and even though if you cut an apple... Uh, in half, um, mm -hmm. you know, you not lengthwise, star. but yeah, you can, you can see the five pointed star in there. Is it a five pointed star? Is it six or I, I don't remember, but you, there is, there is a, there's a star, there's a star <laughs> in there. That doesn't mean the apple itself is evil or that there's anything wrong with the apple. Oh, you know, it has a lot of good properties it, for it's your not body. An evil it's really fruit. good for you. <laughs> it's just like anything else that people can use for whatever strange I know, esoteric a, a meanings they upside want. Upside down pentagram, mm -hmm. it, it looks like a goat and people are like, goats are evil. No, God, uh, God created the goats. Mm -hmm. Goats are very intelligent animals and yeah. there's nothing evil about them just because mm -hmm. some... Now it's used in as, as an example right. for, for evil, it, even, in, even in scripture, but that doesn't mean the goat itself no. has anything wrong no, with no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, the image, absolutely. There's mm -hmm. everything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But the goat, the actual goat, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with goats. Mm -hmm. It, yeah. They're very intelligent animals. Actually, uh, growing up on a farm, what my parents did is they put the goats with the sheep because the goats will, uh, the, the, the sheep will follow the goats mm -hmm. and they will um, watch what the goats eat because the goats know what's poisonous and they'll stay away from it. Mm -hmm. The sheep don't know. Sheep are just ridiculously dumb. <laughs> they, they're cute and adorable <laughs> and I love them and they're God's creatures, but they will eat anything. Mm -hmm. So you put them with the goats, they'll follow the goats and they'll stay away from what the goats, you know, stay away from huh. and they'll live. I didn't know that. Yes. It's well, a little, it's a little uh, trick. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I don't know anything about farming here. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, a uh, uh, little bit of a rabbit trail, but oh, that's fine. it just shows that <laughs> goats aren't evil. They yeah. actually can help out the sheep. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course we did have to delete a couple of uh, comments because mo most people that comment on our channel are awesome. I mean, like, and, and I think our true subscribers, you know, they're, they're all wonderful. Every once in a while we get a troll or, you know, whatever. And uh, I, I just delete the comments. And if I have to, I just block the person. But, yeah, I just move on. Sometimes um, I do the troll patrolling too with yeah, it. Troll it's like, patrolling, yeah. Troll patrol. <laughs> but, I'm just uh, like, oh, well, I don't care. Yeah. Then this is how much I care about it. I'm yeah. just going to delete it and go on with my day. If somebody actually has like a real question, uh, but and the reason that I even brought that up was because uh, I've had to delete a couple of comments that say that, that are trying to tell people 
don't watch this show because it's called Into the Multiverse, and multiverse is like a bad satanic mm -hmm. word, uh, and that's what they're promoting. And clearly, people who say that have never seen an episode of the show. Or they'll jump to uh, conclusions with certain guests we've had or, on, or and they, they don't know that we're part of a Christian organi organization, yeah. or they don't know that we're Christians ourselves. Like, yeah. oh, they're mocking God, or they're mocking, yeah. you know, I don't know why this guest would be on here, because they're clearly not of God. And we are Christians. Yeah. We have a Christian show. We're part mm -hmm. of Christian ministry. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care if you're going to judge <laughs> us by right. looking at us or whatever. I, I right. don't care. Well, and, and, and yeah, and I mean, again, I'm not even saying any of this for the trolls themselves because they're, they're just going to get deleted and blocked and I don't no, care. I'm but, not saying any but of that either. It, it's for people who, who will see those comments and wonder like, is that, is that true? Could that be true? Uh, and, and for those people, of course, no, it's not true, but the best way to find out, um, you, you can either watch the show or, or even just ask us, mm -hmm. uh, we stay open to the public and, and, and see, that's a strange thing too. Like I, I've got a dozen or so comments, uh, on YouTube that I've had to delete because of the word multiverse and people, <laughs> so, some people have problem with it. Not once have I had a single private message just asking me, Hey, what do you mean by multiverse? Yeah, isn't that yeah, like, isn't it, that a, uh, it's easier to just ask us. And, and, well, and that's the thing. So usually if you see comments like that, don't let that deter you from uh, really any show, our show or any other show. Now we do leave comments open because we, we, we do have the option of just disabling comments. Mm -hmm. uh, but we leave them open because we do want to hear from you guys. And, and we have improved our show a lot based on uh, people sharing their opinions with us mm -hmm. and, and their constructive criticisms. You know, we, we have no problem with criticism. We, we uh, constructive criticism, I should, I should yeah. say. We, we thrive on it. Uh, <laughs> because really, ultimately, the show is for all of you at home. This is your show. We host it and we want to teach you things, but we want to do that in the best possible way. Uh, so, of course, if you, if you have any uh, suggestions for the show, things that you like, things that you don't like, things you want to see more of or see less of, mm -hmm. Uh, feel free to comment or you can always uh, email us at jpeck at skywatchtv.com. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have and uh, we'll do our best to address them on the show uh, if course. we can. Of so course. You want to message me? I, I have messages all the time mm -hmm. from people, viewers uh, on my Facebook. My name, it's just Christina Peck. And in parentheses, it says Christina Kramer because Kramer yeah. is my maiden name. Exactly. Um, so uh, it's a picture of me. I look a little different because my hair was a little darker when I took <laughs> that picture. Um, but feel free. Yeah. Uh, f send me a friend request or send me a message. Uh, I, I, we, we, we I love try, hearing from you guys. Uh, yes, I do. And I try to respond. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, sometimes we do get a lot of messages. So it, it, um, sometimes we're either not able to respond or we make it brief, but we, we do the best we can with what we have. Well, we are all out of time. We're actually a little over time. Uh, so I'll just quickly wrap us up here. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support and for watching Into the Multiverse. Uh, we, we appreciate it. And that's why we do shows like this to try to keep you guys informed. And uh, it's a blessing for us. So we appreciate you watching. Make sure to subscribe and share. Share. And until next week, uh, take care and God bless.